All right, hello, and welcome back to the Crossword Vlog, aka Clog Thursday edition. And yeah, just chill edition. Um, uh, like I said in the last episode, we're not really going for any particular time this week. Uh, we are getting pretty close to 350, um, and by extension, kind of close to 365, aka an entire year of solving crosswords. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's just get started. I don't know where Abraham Lincoln worked. Uh, is this like by? That's like a coconut water. Could be eight there. Um, emphasizes. Okay. Uh, I think an orca has distinctive eye patches. Baby, that's up all night. Okay. That would be REI. Can we not? Could be just like ARG. The ING looks good. Split. Maybe you wear, if you're sporting an outfit, you're wearing it. An outlet, nocturnal. Okay. Costs. I was thinking like ending with fees and then that could be FET. I'm not super confident on that though. Est, I guess. This is Udon. Hmm. Definitely could have some things wrong in here. Waiting. Something lunch. Uh, that'd be years, December in Spanish, I guess. Live on air, not live. Really got to work. Maybe hunkered down. It's not not great actually, and the letters looked pretty bad. Ancient Peruvian, could be an Inca. Second. Uh, better fish fight. Uh, I guess polar bear would be pretty scary. This could be ifs. Rights with a point. Maybe s. Could be etches, like a literal point. Last choice. This could be show out, and this could be boast, ace like a test, other like a multiple choice, security, deposit players, or payers, tenants. I guess wax. They are made out of wax, right? Uh, 
this could be GNU's. I'm really worried that this is Fargo, North Dakota. Oh, maybe it's Fargo, and this is Theo. You're just adding an NE to the end. And this is the northeast corner, so there might be things similar where this is like NW or something. Is there a revealer somewhere? Uh, this would be that. Um, okay, who's interested? Or phonetically? Four answers in this puzzle are these of you the answers next to them. Okay. And it's only four answers, and I <laughs> I thought I already found two of them in something maybe. Leading lady is a thing. Unidirectional, I guess. Any takers? Any? Oh, N-E takers. So Fargo takes N-E. Okay. But it's only four? So I guess it'd be down there. Okay. Got rid of. Axed. Taxi, like on a runway. Mishmash. Hefty read could be a tome, like a big book. That's Atlanta. Some of my longtime viewers will, of course, know that. Becomes less tense. Totally forgets to do something. Okay. This could be amalgam. French cup. That must be Sarah Berrios. Is knuckled down a thing? I could believe it. You could echo an opinion. Bruh. Reproach. Radiator could hiss. Skin in the game. Also. Could be like, by the way. Now this is present. Voice could just be say. And I guess the any goes in the middle on this one. Okay. Cockney accent versus like cocky is confident. Also, also, oh, not and also, so post postscript pan pan something must be any, maybe just a root block pan seer, okay, that makes sense.
people support take us a leg sports teams assignment Salma Hayek don't know exactly how to spell her name on the same side Might be Hayek or something, because I think this is boy. Okay. Probably S here. There's also an N E here, so the real answer might be all on the same side. Okay. Maybe just spaces, spaces out on something. A smell, I guess. Or smoke. Those letters work better. SE versus SL. Ecosystem. Oh, I guess ATM fees. Hmm. Becomes less tense. So I'm gonna make sure I see all the clues before I start thinking too hard. Okay. The best. Crystal healing. Like, I want this to be something ups, but uh, okay, I think I understand what's going on. Um, this is new agers. That's the any got taken from new agers. Um, so uh, the ne have taken from this. Bye doesn't need to be right. Okay, and then any is here. Okay. Any got taken from this. Oh, this could be thaws. A uh, headstone. Head. Oh, heads too. Okay. Ah, uh, Shrek. Okay. Um. On the same side. I'm just seeing, oh no, I'm telling doesn't fit anyway, so, um, selecting perjury. And that doesn't need to be right. This is another one where there's an any somewhere. I don't really know the names. Many jellyfish.
emphasizes. I want it to be like talks up or something like that. Like obviously that doesn't come close to fitting, but flower. I think ATM fees feels right to me. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like anything kind of breaks my brain because there's not an easy way of knowing where that any is going to land. Um, I guess it's either here. No, I mean, I, it can be anywhere, I guess, but. Well, it's probably here or here in selecting virtue. Oh, what do they call that? It's like, Kind of like nettle. I, I mean, like stinging nettle is a thing. It's a plant, but it could be like sea nettle or something. I could believe that. And then Seattle. Okay, yeah, I actually feel good about that. Um, Seattle. Um, is this just Sia? There aren't really that many one named three letter singers out there in the world, so. But then, Epsilon. Like, I'm assuming it's Greek letter based, and I don't think there are any Greek letters that look like that. Um, oh, it's probably Sisa. And then Zeta. I guess there are <laughs> multiple three letter singers uh, that start with S. Um, hmm, okay. So if this was fat, the letters look okay. Ah, uh, yeah, you can tack that onto the end of the words. Um, emphasizes, repeats, I guess. Maybe he worked at a bar. We're back to impaling. In. In I'm trying to think where the any would go. In I like I keep selecting for a jury in M or maybe it's in nipaling imp. I'm maybe impelling in I think Ada sounds better. So I'm just gonna leave that and then come back to that. Um Approach. It's 
sports teams assignment. Deafness. So if it's knuckled down, which I think it probably is, this could be Hayek. That actually looks better. Um, this needs to be a vowel to work with the double L. Deafness. Maybe ease. And you get a seed. You chide someone. All I need. All allied. All right. Let's go ahead and admire the puzzle. Um, yeah, this is kind of a cool theme. Um, so I was originally worried that it was really just these four. Um, but no, um, the any gets taken from, well, from, what was it, sea nettle and goes to Fargo. Um, you get Fargon. I, I still don't know where the any goes here. Um, so yeah, I, I would say it's an interesting theme that does definitely impact the solving experience. And I think that's the most important thing for a Thursday theme. It's like, it should, it should change how you solve the puzzle. Um, and it definitely like stretches, uh, mental muscles that a normal crossword doesn't. Um, cause I'm used to being able to look at the blanks and just like think what would fit there. But when you don't know where the any is going, it sort of changes that. Um, so I did like that. Um, I think uh, in terms of the actual answers, I think they were generally okay. Um, it was like fine. Uh, not a big fan of uh, <laughs> the fact that I have no idea what this one's supposed to be. Uh, maybe we can see they have a wordplay column. Uh, selecting, okay. Impaneling. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a big um, fan of that, <laughs> I would say. Um, oh, now we're just browsing the New York Times games. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think that's not great because I've just never heard of that. So um, it didn't feel that exciting to discover, especially as the last one. Um, and yeah, there wasn't really necessarily any crazy interesting fill throughout the rest of the puzzle. Um, although I do understand that this is a pretty, uh, restrictive theme in terms of what the board's going to look like. So hard to fit exciting theme in there. Like knuckled is not that great. Um, can we not is pretty good though. Um, but yeah, overall, where do I land this? I'm going to give this like a 6.5 out of 10. It was enjoyable, but not like uh, mind blowing by any means. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.